So hello and welcome to the laundry centre. We've just got home from work and we have a special package waiting on the driveway which I'm about to bring to the shed and reveal. So I've just lifted the hood real quickly, I couldn't contain myself. Uh, this is a special machine, so you know. We'll go into that very shortly. Looks like a bird shit on the door, but there you are. That's going to be replaced, I promise. Right, let's get it around the back. So then, this is the Hoover Ecologic 1300 A3958 from March 1991. I grew up with this machine for the first five or so years of my life before it was replaced with the Hotpoint WT960. I'll go into the personal details of the machine shortly, um, but yeah, we'll have a look at the machine first of all, um, then we'll plug it in, then we'll change the door seal. So I've got the jaw fascia, Hoover Ecologic. Fortunately this isn't fading, unlike on the 1200 version which will be going shortly. With the 1300 version we have the addition of the spin delay button and the spin uh, neon. We also have the addition of a 12 hour delay start to make use of economy 7 electricity hours. So having just looked at this drum and comparing it to the drum which is in the AC220, uh, we can see there are far fewer holes in the 1200 machine. So as I said it's an A3958 and that dates to 1991 March. This seal which we're going to change on camera in a minute. That's yeah, and that looks like an actual bird shit. But hey, boil wash is in order, I think. Around the back, we've got this uh, piece of paper which I haven't actually seen uh, before. It's about removing the transit brake zone. Yeah, which I don't need to worry about. There's the hot and cold fill valves. And the full data plate at base and machine with all technical specifications. So in order to change the seal we're going to need to take the lid off of the machine. I had a brief look in the underside of the machine and the outer tub looks immaculate. Um, I think it's hardly been used myself. But I guess this will tell. Well, the door seals are in a different state. But there you are. Um, I think it will need an anti-twist kit fit at some point. The pressure switch needs reattaching and I'll move the camera so I can see what's going on. So as I just said, um, this pressure switch needs going back on. That's just this. That's my screwdriver. Though. Perfect. Um, that's dated the 19th of June 1991, that timer. Um, cruise that timer, of course. There's the back of the delay start wheel, the auction buttons, valve, steam vent, soap box, uh, suppressor, and so forth. Um, I'm going to spin it around now, and we're going to get ready to change this door boot. Cold seal off, finally. Already memories are flying back. Um, so, yeah, we're going to remove the plastic door retainer uh, that seal will unfold I can't do this at this angle um, and then we will undo the clamp band in the I also didn't record putting on the outer band and the spring on the top, but there you are. Um, so that's all in. Uh, no worrying creases. Um, so yeah, I think the next step would be to plug it in and see what she does, I guess. Okay, so if we turn her on at the mains, um, I guess we leave the door open and... It's clicking through something. It was set to K when I got it. Um, 
the mic set up ready for the next wash. But obviously, I've been a little bit. So that's that. Um, I guess we'll shut the door. Use a fast spin, which is number F, uh, left ref even. Some might say remove the heat shield, but I won't. Keep some machinery original, doesn't it? I'm in the middle of collapsing this tripod. Which I should have done earlier.
temperature go up to 1300 any minute now? So we know it spins. Um, I guess the next step would be to plumb it in and water test it. Um, but I'm going to go change my shirt, um, then plumb it in, have something to eat, well, have something to eat, then plumb it in, uh, then put it on a hot wash, and at which point I will uh, take on the vlog part of the video and talk about this machine. So, yeah, until then. I forgot to clean the jaw, but there you are. Um, the machine is on, nice. We're just going to do a program B cotton 60. Uh, I'm not going to film the wash officially, but I will film it in the background whilst I talk. Oh, no, I'll pull the blind out. Now we can get a brush. to the water have I? Yes I have. Now I'm turning on the tap, that's why. So then, to the personal bit, with a cold cup of tea from earlier if I can find it. So, those who know me well, will know that my nan used to own um, an A3958 and the D6722 dryer above. Um, they aren't a complete match because there was a dryer higher end than that one. Um, but this was the top of line timer Ecologic. Um, so, I knew this machine for the first five or so years of my life. Um, it was in Minan's kitchen, directly opposite the cooker. It was a long, thin kitchen with units either side of the wall. On the as you came in the door, you'd have the washing machine on the left and the cooker on the right, which was a belling uh, washer on the left with the microwave above. Um, there was a cupboard, double cupboard for the sink, a little thin, no, another cupboard, then a little thin unit which, with, which had the iron and uh, bin bags and stuff in it. Then there was the dryer at ground level, part me, at the other end of the kitchen. Uh, the washing machine died before the tumble dryer. I was there when that broke, and I was very little when it broke. Um, the dryer got passed on in about 2009, maybe 10. 
uh, when Nan went into care. Um, so, the ecologic that my Nan had went when I was about five. I was there when it broke. Um, I think I hit the door release button too soon or something like that. Obviously, I can't remember. It was so long ago. But all I remember was there were a load of smoke coming out of the machine. And Grandad and I had a look inside the machine. Um, so, yeah. Nan would always use Program D um, with half load, speed wash and economy wash. Not a great combination, but there you are. Um, she'd use personal on bio, which was brought in big 100 wash boxes from Costco and Comfort Blue Skies conditioner. So the machine went when I was about five and I remember when she brought the new one. It wasn't actually brought by her. Uh, my other grandparents brought it for them. Um, on their behalf or something. I don't know how it worked. I was too young to remember. Um, I didn't really want to know at the time because I was more interested in the machine. Um, but anyway, they ended up with the Hotpoint WT960. Um, I can remember hearing on the phone when they got it and the night after they got it, I think mum and my younger brother were going up to see Nan and Grandad anyway. And I was gutted because I couldn't see the new machine of course. Uh, that machine was the WT960 which I had uh, in the utility room till about two years ago um, which I then did up and sold on which is still going strong um, so yeah I remember vividly when they got the new machine because the day when mum and my younger brother went up to see Nan and Grandad and I couldn't go I was distraught um, that I couldn't go and see the machine it was a day when I was at my first primary school I had fallen over in the boys toilets and hit my head on a uh, I think it was the door frame or something like that um, something daft um, but I was in the nurse's office or something like that and I was saying oh I can't get to see this new machine that my nan's got his younger brother's going up and I was gussy uh, but obviously it's a WTR60. At the time I thought it was the coolest thing in the world with the big blue display and blue buttons and full touch uh, like our old Ultima. Um, but yeah, that's the story of that. Um, there's not really a lot more I can say other than I've had a few Hoover machines similar to the A3958 behind me. Um, obviously we've had the Logic 1300. I must have a sweep. I had the Logic 1300, which was the machine before this in the range, and we've had a Logic 1000 uh, last year, or might be the year before that, um, and we've got the 1200 Logic, which is now set outside, um, that will be going soon, not to scrap to another collector. Um, obviously I've had these similar machines in a bubble, but in the middle there's been the machine I really want, and finally after 12 years, not having one we finally got one and i tell you i'm so happy when i got it i might not have sounded like it on camera because i don't have a crap day at work um but yeah what more can i say um obviously i've got loads of machines well not loads but a few machines that featured in my childhood there's these two of course uh there's a the hot point nine five set there used to be someone actually it was younger brother's godparents um, lived opposite us at our old house um, and I used to go around theirs and look at their hot point set and gaze at it obviously I never saw it running unfortunately but I can vividly remember it being a 9.5 set obviously I remember the proud door and handle and the buttons with the circling so I remember joining them I actually found a join uh, but I couldn't tell you what model um, so there's that pair which also featured my childhood and there's the little can Necromatic 3 which was my great grand's. Um, I guess on my dad's side there was the WMA 63, same as ours, uh, they were brought at exactly the same time. Um, but I don't need another one of them at the moment and my one's still going strong um, even though I've sold it on probably not with it when it breaks um, all right anyway I think that's that um, that's all I can say really um, obviously there will be videos of the machine when it's up and well when it's cleaned out and I've got some washing to do um, but that won't be for a while I don't think I've got lots of videos in the uploading queue anyway so I'm gonna sit and watch this till the very end 
And until then, goodbye.